Uh, the last claim I'm going to look at is similarities in the early stages of the mammalian embryos supports common ancestry. This is one that happens to upset me quite a bit, and I'll tell you why. If you uh, look at uh, Ernest Haeckel, who was a German biologist, he um, drew some drawings. He was an embryologist, and he drew some um, drawings of some embryo, mammalian embryos in their early stages, and he was noting how they looked similar. And he traveled all across Germany with his charts and almost single-handedly turned converted Germany over to belief in evolution. What it turned out is that even within his own lifetime, uh, in 1874, it was found out that he faked his drawings. They were fraudulent. He made them look more similar than they really were, so it really wasn't evidence for him at all. We can see what, what, his, what his drawings were, and then when we go to the next slide, oh, by the way, I should mention that Charles Darwin thought himself that embry embryology was one of the single strongest class of facts that he had in favor of his theory. Um, and yet we see that even in Haeckel's own lifetime it was discredited. If we look at the chart there, uh, it shows on the top row it shows the um, Haeckel's faked fraudulent drawings and then photographs of the actual embryos. So we know what they look like today. They okay. look nothing alike. Right. He's either a really poor artist or a liar. And he, was, he was found out to be in his own lifetime to be lying. Hmm. Um, and why that uh, makes me mad is because, first of all, evolution has been used, uh, or that theory has been used for in support of abortion. Um, they'll say, well, it's not, they'll tell the young girls, you know, it's not really human yet, it's just going through the fish stage. So it's okay to kill it because it's not really, you know, it's not in the human stage yet. They believe it's going through the fish, amphibian, reptile, mammal stage. And just as an aside here, there is a... Uh, Professor of Bioethics at Princeton University, Peter Singer, who wants to legalize abortions for up to 28 days after the birth of a child. Hmm. Yeah, I, I said after the birth of a child. He thinks that it's okay for a parent to, uh, you know, you know kind of like a trial period. Uh, you have a child for four weeks, and if you're not happy with it, you just kill it. Hmm. And so this is what evolutionary right. thinking leads to. Um, and of course, Adolf Hitler, growing up in Germany, would have learned this theory that it's called recapitulation theory that the whole idea uh, you, what Haeckel actually came up with was the idea that you're retracing your evolutionary heritage like I mentioned you're going through a fish amphibian reptile so mammal everybody stage. every person every child that develops and develop is going through those stages yeah and uh, so I've got a quote here that says Adolf Hitler has consciously sought to make the practice of Germany conform to the theory of evolution he was trying to breed the master race because he was raised believing in evolution and believing in this uh, theory of Ernst Haeckel, which has been discredited for over 100 years.